So there's two bucks that I'm after. One of them is an eight pointer with nice white high tines, uh, nice wide rack. And the second buck is also, well, kind of an eight pointer. He's got eight main points and a drop tine. And he's also got a big wide rack. Uh, the tines aren't quite as tall as the other deer, but uh, I've never gotten a drop tine before, so uh, he's definitely a, a deer I'm interested in. And I'm just going to keep on grinding until I find him or we run out of season. <laughs> One of the two, or uh, a deer of the same caliber. So anyway, I'm going to get in there and see what we can find.
So it's Saturday morning, and I've hunted the bog every day since I see that spike on in the buck and doe, and haven't seen anything else. <laughs> uh, I've hunted the food plot every afternoon, and I've seen deer, <laughs> uh, all those. Sometimes just one, sometimes a whole parade, but no horns. Anyway, I'm going to get back down in there this morning. Uh, it's a nice, cool day. Not much of a breeze. Maybe today's the day.
It's about 250 right now. I'd like to get him so I can see his whole body. Well, I probably didn't get that on film, but I did get him. I can't even believe it. I can't even believe it. I got him. I. I'm sorry about not getting it on film, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Oh yeah. I cannot believe it. Hey, ah, I'm sorry I didn't get it on film, but boy. There's just there's just no way I was gonna be able to do it. Eric's out hunting here, but I'll send him a text. I'm gonna need his help for the days over for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Cannot believe I finally got a shot at that buck. <laughs> in that big eight yeah you know, yeah you know, uh no rush there if you're hunting there but uh oh wait a minute let me just look here oh i can't believe it <laughs> i he come out uh about, I don't know, 150, 200 yards up above that uh, uh, clump of uh, birches on the other side, on the low end, and uh, come right down like he was going to head to the point and stopped, and he just looked and looked and looked, and then he turned around and, and started back. You know, I fucking hammered him. All right, uh, just give me a hollow there when you get around to it. Now just sit here and make sure you don't go nowhere. <laughs> What a cocker. Yep. Yep. All right. Bye. What's the matter? <laughs> A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Baby. Look at that thing, huh? Yes, sir. What a beast, huh? He was working on 10. Yeah. That one there was broke off. It would have been 10. Uh, 9, anyway.
Uh, yours is a little bit longer, but look how deep he is. Look at his neck. Yeah. I mean, this ain't much different than that 10-pointer I got last year. No, but I mean, it is. So when we first got the trail cam pictures of this guy and the uh, drop tine buck, I really had my doubts as to whether or not we'd ever get a chance to get in front of the one of the two bucks, but uh, I guess today was my lucky day uh, to get a buck like this that you're specifically hunting there. Uh, I don't know if I've ever done that before. And this is two patch bucks in this spot in what, a week, week and a half? Uh, it had been some nice to get that uh, drop tine buck there, but uh, we only had pictures of him one time and that was it. And uh, you certainly aren't going to pass a deal like this here for that chance, you know. All right. <laughs> Come help. <laughs> Don't get us wet there, buddy. Nope. <laughs> you can definitely tell he's all on that side. There we go. That's a little better. I just pulled my butt over. 